and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer and Diamonds. I am Jennifer. If you're new here, welcome on in and I hope you enjoy your stay. So today we are doing a whip and jet. Um, like last week, um, the reason why there's numbers and names on these squares is because I got TikTok to the, um, decide where I was putting um, or where pick to pick numbers in whatever order they pick them is the order I'm doing them in. Um, so that's why there's names and numbers and all that jazz. Um, so first I want to explain whip and chat. So if you never heard of whip and chat, uh, whip stands for work in progress. So this is my current work in progress. And then chat, I'm just going to chat to you about my week. Um, and while you listen, you can, you know, work on your current whip or, you know, you can listen while you do your housework or just relaxing or whatever, um, that kind of thing. So let's go over what I'm using. Nothing too special. I don't, I don't have, <laughs> this is my only, um, like, uh, diamond painting pen that didn't come in a kit. <laughs> this is one I got from Timu and the tips are metal tips um, and they have like a rose gold finish to them. So I have a single placer on one side and a, a three multi-placer on the other. Um, this is just a small uh, tray that I got with a make market kit from Michaels. The wax that I'm using is just the one that came with this kit from Dreamer Designs. Um, and then the putty I'm using is a sample that I got from Creations Morin. Um, it's an Etsy shop. They have putty, multiple, numerous. They just released another five or six cents. Um, this one is Unicorn Farts. And it's so, so, I love you. This one, it's so good. So, um, yeah, I'll be using this one in my multi-placer. So let me just do that now, because I cleaned up my multi-placer before I started this. So now we have nice fresh putty, and this putty lasts a while. Like, I, I only change it, like, once a week, because it, it lasts a while. I could probably not even change it once a week. I probably could have go longer, but... I decided on when I do my whip and chats to change it out. I need to get some more though. Cause like, like this one is just a tiny little sample. Um, the other pen I'm using is just a pen that I got with my Dreamer Designs kits. And I use this one for um, this tip. I don't know what why it's, well it's has a slightly smaller hole. Um, so I think that's why. But it's really good for um, for ABs. Like I was having a a rough time with um, with ABs. So I had tried a couple different things, and this 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 tip is the best that I have come across so far for ABs. And I tried. Um, it's, it's hot in here or something. The wax doesn't want to stay in my pan. It keeps it coming out. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do this again. Um, so yeah, that's... Oh, and I have my little cover miter. I don't need it, but he's my little friend. So he will be joining us. Just to keep us company. This is the only cover minder I have. I need, I'm fairly new to diamond painting. I just started at the beginning of like mid July. So I am slowly building up. Like I got my first uh, diamond painting pen that doesn't come on a kid. I got my first sample of putty. I got my first cover minder. This um, uh, storage kit I just got from Timu. It has. 52, 50, I think it's 52, uh, little containers. 
So they just uh, pop open. Nothing too special about them. They just they hold my drills, and they're a good size for this size kit because there's numerous colors. So there's not really any one color that has tons in it. There there is like this one that is fairly full, and there was this one here. I can only fit half of it in, but I did when I did this square here. It had tons of this color. So by the time I finished this square, I could put the other half <laughs> in there. So, okay, let's get started here. So we're gonna do this square today. And take this off. So we get to do some of the lighthouse tonight. The rest of the sky, well, I think there's a little bit of sky over here, but, um, oh, I need to take in a second, I need to put my timer on. I like to keep track of how much time I spend on the diamond painting. I don't know, there's no real reason why, just curiosity, I guess. Okay, my timer has been started. I'm gonna bring my notes a little, not that I have a lot of notes, but I'm gonna bring them a little closer so I can read them. Okay, let's see. What color are we going to start with first? We are going to start with the and sign color, the blue. Okay, let me get this started and then we'll we'll uh, talk about my week. It is a really boring week, especially compared to last week. If you didn't watch my uh, whip and chat last week. It was a crazy week. Had some issues with my dog. Um, so we'll give an update on how he's doing. Spoiler, he's doing fine. <laughs> he's recovering pretty good. Um, actually, let's start with the update with for Finn. Finn is my dog. So he, like I mentioned last week, he was at the vets. He ended up having to be there a couple, t um, couple nights so they could monitor him and then figure out exactly what was going on with him. And what it turned out to be was a really bad ear infection, which they think was caused by uh, food allergies. So um, he, it, it was so bad, it, was, it gave him vertigo, which to us looked like um, he was twitching or like some kind of seizure. It wasn't a seizure. It turned out it wasn't a seizure. It was just, um, just bad twitching. It was freaking me out. Um, so yeah, so we spent a couple nights, um, at the vets so they could do some tests and it was a very expensive visit. Um, so he came home, um, last Friday, or not, like, not this past Friday, but the fr week, a week ago Friday. Um, he came home with a lot of meds. Um, he came home with six different meds and uh, ear drops. So he's still on some of them. He has finished with one of the meds um, and he's tapering off another. Um, and he still has his ear drops. But he is doing, he's doing good. Uh, the week started off, eh, um, we realized pretty quickly that the meds are making make him super thirsty and i found out from the vet when they called to check up on him early this week the reason for that is one of the meds he's on is a steroid and apparently it can make dogs very thirsty and because he was drinking so much water he um he had to go to the bathroom a lot which led to between the fact that he was going had to go to the bathroom a lot um, and I think the meds were like totally messing with his body and his mind and stuff he had a couple accidents so it started with Monday morning when my husband woke up and he went downstairs and found out the dog had peed all over the floor downstairs because he couldn't get anybody's attention because everybody was in their rooms with the door shut 
and he needed to go to the bathroom. So totally our fault. We realized then that he was going to have an issue with the bathroom. So we were, um, we monitored him pretty closely. We were regularly like once an hour, like, you want to go outside? <laughs> because we were, because like he would, we would put a, a bowl of water down and he would slurp it up, like all of it right away. Like he was super thirsty, which again would cause him to have to pee a lot more. So we were very much regularly asking him or bringing him outside to um, go to the bathroom. Still led to some accidents because I think it was later, yeah, later that day, my husband went off to work and I worked from home. And there was one point the dog came over and he's nudging my arm and he's uh, um, putting his head on my lap and looking at me and I'm like, okay, you wanna go out? And I brought him downstairs and he went right to the back door. So my dog, I, I always tease my, like I always tell my daughter, this dog is weird. When I had dogs growing up, as soon as you open the door, they were outside. You didn't have, you didn't have to coax them to go outside. My dog on the other hand, um, that like our current dog right now, he, he, he doesn't like going outside by himself. Um, you kind of almost have to push him out the door and say, go outside. <laughs> he doesn't like going out there by himself. Um, so, but this time when I went downstairs with him, he, uh, he went right to the back door. The, we have a patio door to go to the backyard and he went right to there. And as soon as I opened the door, he was out the door, down the stairs for the deck and he was peeing and when he, I, he pees right, because he's drinking so much water he's he pees a river he pees so much he just because i was monitoring him make sure he was okay and stuff and uh, it's just like are you going to stop peeing? because he just kept it going and going and going and going and going um so yeah so there was that and then i came back to my office i expected him to if he needs to go out He'll come and do what he did, right? Come nudge my arm, put his head on my lap, look up at me, kind of thing. Hint, hint, and he go outside. Well, I was sitting there doing work, and then I got up to go downstairs or something, and I go around my desk and I feel water. He had peed in my office. I had my headset on because when I'm working, I usually uh, I'm watching YouTube videos or watching like uh, a streaming service of some sort or whatever. And he gave absolutely no indication whatsoever that he needed to go out. Like I said, I think the meds were totally messing with his head, which um, kind of... The ne what happened the next day kind of solidified that in my mind. So there was that. So I like yell downstairs, my daughter's downstairs. And I'm like, Elle, let Finn out. And I gathered up some like paper towel and stuff and I cleaned up my office. And thankfully I don't have a rug. Like we have um, like hardwood type floors. Um, they're probably like that laminate hardwood. Like it's not like actual hardwood. I don't know what it's called. I can't think what the name is right now. Um, so it was easy to clean up at least. At least he, at least he didn't pee, pee on carpet or something. So he, and then from then on, like we basically, cause my daughter's still home because she doesn't start school for like another, well, she doesn't start until after Labor Day. So, um, She's still home, so we basically, when she was downstairs on the main level, we would keep the patio door open, so Finn could go out in and out as he pleased, and um, wouldn't have any more accidents, or so I thought. <laughs> so, on Tuesday, um, well, I got my Timu order, which had nothing really to do with diamond painting, so I didn't do an un unbagging, unboxing, whatever you want to call it for Timu, because I got I got a ring light, which I'm using tonight. I don't know. 
I've been using it all week for TikTok videos and stuff. I honestly am not sure if it makes that much of a difference, but it's on. <laughs> so if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it's, it's an extra light. Um, and then I also got, like I had to bring it up to a certain dollar amount to get free shipping. So I got a this little brush thing that I can use for diamond painting just to brush off my canvas kind of thing here. Brush uh, drills out of my tray. I haven't really used it yet, but I have it. It was only like a couple bucks. So also on Tuesday, uh, my, my daughter wanted her friend to come over. She had asked us a few days ahead of time. Um, she, um, her and her friends are doing this gaming thing. They were gonna try to like play this game for like 24 hours. So she wanted her friend to spend a couple nights um, so they could do this. So her friend came over that afternoon and now uh, my husband came home, he ordered pizza, went and picked it up, you know, they did their thing. It's pretty much Tuesday. Um, the next, so they ended up not making the 24 hours. They were dead to the world by the time I woke up the next morning. I'm not sure exactly how late they stayed up, but the 24 hours didn't start till Monday that night and they were asleep by the time I woke up at like 6.37 in the morning. So <laughs> they didn't even last like 12 hours, which I am not surprised because um, so we, so I've watched some people do like on Twitch and stuff, these 24 hour gaming things or whatever, for whatever reason, <clears throat> charity event or some kind of big gaming event or whatever. And they prepare for it as in they sleep. Like if it starts at like midnight, they sleep during the day before midnight so they can actually stay up for 24 hours and they absolutely did not do that um so i was not surprised that they did not last very long because they were up for a while beforehand <laughs> they didn't have a nap or a, anything before they tried to do this 24-hour gaming thing i think the gaming thing had to do with fortnite i don't know I had to do with something, some game. They, they play Fortnite and Valorant and, and stuff like that, so, or in Overwatch. So it had to do with one of those games. I'm just not sure which. Um, so they fell asleep on the couch. They had already planned that they, like they had, um, they had brought down blankets and squishmallows and all that stuff to cuddle with down there. So, <clears throat> We had told my daughter, you know, keep an eye on Finn. Um, Cause if you're gonna stay up late and fall hours or whatever, we'll let him roam around and you just make sure every little bit, just open the patio door and let him out. You don't have to go out in the, in the dark with him. He, if he needs to go, he'll go out if you open the door for him. So they did that a couple times, but um, so my husband got up, he, um, that's what he usually does and he lets the dog out and gets ready for work he goes off and we gave him his uh, Finn his meds because most of his meds he has at like seven in the morning and then seven at night um and uh so he goes off to work i let the dog out at like just just before just after i started work like around eight o'clock and then I went, uh, I went back to work or I started work and then right around nine, nine thirty, I went to the washroom and I'm like, I should probably see if the dog needs to go out. So I go to the washroom, which is upstairs across from my office. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go downstairs. So I, I, uh, like one step, I took one step down the stairs and I hear this thump and I'm like, what was that? Like, and then I'm like, I wonder if Ellie fell out of, off the couch. 
So I go downstairs and there is my daughter, Ellie, on the floor. She didn't exactly fall out uh, off the couch. Sort of, well, she kind of, sort of. So what happened was my dog likes to, um, our couch is under or in front of the window, front window, and he likes to lie on top of the couch and look out the window. So I guess that's what he did is he went up there. Then he had to go to the bathroom. But I, this is when I figured, I don't think he realized, like the, I think the meds are messing with him and he doesn't realize what he's doing because Apparently he needed to go to the bathroom and he went to the bathroom while he was lying up there and my daughter was lying on the couch. So the reason why she freaked out and ended up on the floor was because the dog basically peed on her and freaked her out. Um, and she basically pushed the dog off the couch too. And she like went over and made sure he was okay. He was fine. And I'm like, okay. Her friend is kind of like laughing because her friend's on the love seat, which is not underneath the window and in no danger of being peed on. Um, so I let the dog out and get again. Thankfully, we have a leather, well, leather looking couch. I don't think it's leather. Um, so it was fairly easy to clean up. Um, so I did that. And then I had to wash the blanket that my daughter was using because it got pee on it. And yeah, so that was when I realized, I don't think he understood, like he, like I think the meds are messing with him and he doesn't know what's going on. Cause like I said, he, he's on, at the time he was on like six different meds. One of them I realized the one he's no longer on, I didn't read the label fully it can cause sedation, which is probably the one that would make messing with him and why he peed on the couch, on the top of the couch. So yeah, so that's fun stuff. My daughter's like, she's like, I'm gonna go have a shower. I'm like, okay. So she was in that shower for a while. I kind of felt bad for her, but I thought kind of, <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, she was fine. It was just a little dog pee and she, uh, he didn't do it on purpose. And she just had a shower and she was fine. So yeah, so like I said, for the, for pretty much the whole week, or at least it's gotten better. I noticed when he did stop that one med that I realized causes a bit of, could cause sedation a bit. Um, he is definitely more alert. Um, He's getting back to his normal goofy self. Um, he he's not quite. He's still drinking a lot of water, but I think it's calmed down a bit. We still, when when my daughter's downstairs, or if one of us is downstairs, we keep the patio door open so he can go in and out during the day. At night, not so much because. There's mosquitoes out there and we don't want a bunch of mosquitoes coming in the house. But during the day, it's not so bad. They come out at night. So, um, so we, we keep the door closed and we just kind of keep an eye on them at night. Um, so yeah, so that was basically Tuesday, Wednesday, um, during the day anyway. Um, and for my, my daughter's sleeper over. So their sleeper over went pretty good. She got to hang out with her friend, play games, watch movies. Her friend likes TikTok, so they watch a lot of TikTok and stuff like that. And then um, Friday night, um, one of, the, actually the one that did this putty thing, um, on her Facebook group, um, she did this bingo thing. She, uh, I trying to see, oh, got some more, yeah, I thought I, thought I got all the and signs, but nope, there's some down here. Um, so she did this bingo thing, so there was, like, basically t two games, and she gave, and 
but each game had like five games in it I'll explain um, but she, so she gave like basically five prizes per game away like there's trays um, discounts for her store um, she like I said she also does uh, diamond painting pens so she was giving away pens stuff like that so here I'll show you the cards so she she sent everybody a card and you can either print one and then use like tokens to put on the the spaces or you can print two and just mark them up I printed two and just marked them up I had really bad luck so like I said here's the the card so I started writing down the well I not started I wrote down the numbers it took a while before I even got one number and there was like I think that she gave it right away for the first game like there was for, first it was one line and then two lines then three lines then um, a full diamond so basically all in here all filled in and then a full card so each winner of each of those things got a, uh, a, a prize of some sort on the first game there was somebody who got and she did say you can win multiple times she did warn people ahead of time you can win multiple times um because there was the per on the first game there was somebody who won three of the five prizes um she was a lucky one that one um let me see actually, I can do more. um but like i said i had such l horrible luck i think she gave prizes away for one two and three rows before i even got one row like it was horrible my luck I swear I didn't we like I said we played two games like that and I won bupkis but it was fun it was fun since it wasn't a, a Facebook live thing everybody got to chat um, while they were doing it and she was chatting she was because she would pause in between calling numbers just to give people a chance to call out bingo if they got bingo because there was a delay um, so she, her, she lives in Quebec. She has a very thick French, French accent. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I've heard thicker, but you could definitely tell she was French. Um, and she was speaking in both English and French because there was people in her group that only speak French and there's people in her group that only speak English. So she was doing both. Um, so yeah, it was a fun night. It took, uh, like two hours, two and a half hours to get through both games. I wasn't, I don't know why I have, I haven't, I haven't played bingo in a while, but I wasn't exactly thinking it was going to take that long, but it was fine. Like I said, we had fun. I didn't have anything else to do, so it didn't bother me. Um, so, so this was the first time she did this bingo thing so everybody seemed to like it so she'll probably do it again so I like I said I will have her Etsy page linked below and then if you want to join her Facebook group because she does do lives every once in a while where she shows off new blanks and you can actually reserve them in her lives um, at the time I think her her um, pens um, usually go for $45, $50 Canadian, somewhere in there. I think it depends on which blank it is. Like I said, she'll speak in her life. She speaks both English and French, so if you don't speak French, you're good. She'll do both. Um... I'm trying to think I think that's it for that day oh no Wednesday Wednesday was also when I ordered I ordered a couple more dreamer designs kits I noticed one of the Christmas ones it was uh, the ye old Christmas shop was on low stock and I wanted to get it um, so I picked up that and 
I had a, I had found a coupon code. I, th I think it's only a one use one for 50, 50 50 um, off. So it's basically buy one, get one 50% off. And, um, I wanted to use that. So I picked up two. So I got ye old Christmas shop, which is going to be huge. It's like 60 centimeters by 90 centimeters and it has 10 ABs and it looks so fun. Um, so that's on its way, sort of. <laughs> so I ordered it on Wednesday, Wednesday night, I think it was, yeah. Um, Thursday, I got the notification saying it was shipped. Shipped because you know how that goes. It says it's shipped and then you look at the tracking and then it's not actually. It's just they made the label. And it took a while before I went from basically they made the label to on Friday? Friday afternoon, I think it was, when it finally said it was on its way to the um I can't remember what it's called because they ship although they are a Canadian based company their warehouse is in the United States um so I can't think of what it's called it's basically the warehouse they um like the export warehouse um for the the um the company they use to ship Although last time I got something, when I got these kits from Dreamer Designs, it came D from DHL. It was shipped through DHL. This time it's, I can't even think of what it's called. I've never really heard of it before. Um, so we'll see how this one works because I've been checking all day to see if it's actually reached this internet. Uh, I think, what is it called? I can't think of what it's called. But whatever warehouse it is that they... Uh, they use to ship it to Canada. It's like, kind of like a, it's not a customs thing. Because thankfully, you don't have to pay customs on Dreamer Designs. Um, anyway, it's like, we'll see. I'm hoping it gets here somewhat early next week. I want to see it. I will be doing an unboxing, but you won't see it until end of October-ish. I have other things uh, scheduled and I won't be starting the Christmas one until beginning of November so and then it's gonna take because I what I usually do when I um, do diamond paintings is I that's not the one I want it's not the one I want um, is section them off uh, in basically uh, 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter section so because it's uh, 60 by 90 centimeters I'll be making it into 54 sections so it's basically going to take me like a month and 24 ish days so basically I start at November 1st I'll be finished at Christmas Eve <laughs> just in time for Christmas <laughs> So I won't really get to display it for Christmas. Maybe I can get it up there Christmas Day or Christmas Eve so we can have it up for a week or so after for Christmas and after. We'll see. I'm excited because it's, like I said, it has like 10 ABs in this sucker. I can't wait. I couldn't, I remember when they announced it. They only announced it like a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. It's, it's, that's how new it is this diamond painting and I couldn't believe it I'm like 10 ABs holy moly because it was basically I was trying to decide between the one I got which was the old Christmas shop and white Christmas white Christmas is out of stock and I the more I looked at it before it went out of stock I'm like it's just not me like it's a very beautiful uh, Christmas diamond painting very beautiful but it's very white like I said it's white Christmas it's basically like a living room scene but everything is like beige and white it's like I said it is beautiful 
I just don't think it's me. The more colorful, traditional looking um, Christmas scene, like the big toy shop, and it has, you know, greens and reds, and it just, it's just more traditionally Christmas is more me. Um, so, uh, yeah. Between the fact that White Christmas was sold out, although I, um, they have are started the process to get more in. So hopefully for the people who do want that one, um, that they do get, they do get it for Christmas this year. Cause it was a very popular one. You know, a few, um, uh, diamond painting, um, content creators, I believe got it. Um, so yeah, so I ordered that on Wednesday and then Thursday afternoon, early afternoon, I get an email. I get regular emails from Dreamer Designs because I have this sale and that sale. And usually it's like 15% off or whatever. And by the way, um, I do have an affiliate link down below for Dreamer Designs for 15% off. It doesn't have to be your first order or anything. It's just whatever. Um, so it's J-E-N-N-1-5. -N and it'll get you 15% off your order. Um, and if you use it, um, there's a chance that I will get a small commission from that, just so you're aware. So there's no absolutely no obligation for you to use it, but it is there, so you can get a discount if you want to order something from Gamer Designs. So yeah, so um, Thursday afternoon, I get an email from Gamer Designs um, saying, Today only, when you order something, you get double points. So they are similar to uh, Diamond Art Club, where they have a point system. And you can use your points for little items or um, discounts, like dollar amount discounts, anywhere from like $25 to a couple hundred dollars, I think, depending on how many points you have. I mean, you have to have a decent amount of points to get that uh, $200 off. Although I had some, I saw somebody in one of the groups I was in like, I totally forgot about the points and I had enough to get $100 off my order. So that's a nice chunk of change. Um, so I will be like, they do expire, I think after a year or something. So something about around a year or so. so I, I'm gonna save up though. I still I plan to get some more stuff from Dreamer Designs. Um. So yeah, so I I took a screenshot of it and I posted it in the Dreamer Designs uh, VIP group. I'm like, no, I just placed an order yesterday, <laughs> and uh, someone suggested like cancel your order if it hasn't been shipped yet cancel your order and and resubmit it or contact them and threaten threaten to i couldn't believe it they th threaten to cancel your order if they don't give you the the double points and i'm like well it's already been shipped i wasn't going to threaten anything but i did decide later to um, message them to see if like, there was a chance that i could get double points on the order I had placed the day before, but they couldn't. And I was fine with that. It happens. Um, it's a whatever. I just should have waited that one extra day. <laughs> oh well, I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. Um, so yeah, I think that's, see how long have we been chatting here I'm thinking it's gonna be a, a shorter whip and chat today because like I said there wasn't really much that happened this week it's almost like thankfully oh um, update on my uncle the one that has um, brain cancer um, terminal brain cancer. He's in, I don't know if I mentioned last week. I think I did. Yeah. No, um, he's still in the hospital. He does not want to be there. He's trying to get his doctors to let him, to release him, but 
Um, they're like, well, we can't. You're going to be here because you have nobody to look after you at home. And he's like, well, my mom can. His mom is 85 years old. She cannot. She was looking after him, but it's just, it's too much. Too much for her. Like, I kind of understand where he's coming from. He just, he knows he's dying. He wants to be home. He wants to die at home. But it's just, it's not in the cards. It's, he has nobody to look after him. Um, he has a girlfriend slash fiance because he, after he found out he had terminal cancer, he planned a trip across the country. His son lives on the other end of the country. So he, him and his girlfriend slash fiance, um, drove across the country and he got to visit with his son and his grandchildren for a little while and then they drove back. Um, but they also decided what they were, had a plan to do was after he finished his first round of chemo, um, he was going, they were going to get married, which never happened. And he just got worse and worse. And by now it's just, it's not happening. Um, so he does have a, like I said, girlfriend slash fiance, but from the sounds of it, she's not helping much. My uh, grandmother spends eight hours a day at the hospital with my uncle to help him eat because he shakes a lot from his medication and he can't really feed himself and apparently nurses are just bringing him his food and leaving it there probably because he's not being the nicest patient um, and my grandmother helps him eat and when I was talking to my dad earlier if my dad had been talking to my uncle's girlfriend and says you know his mom's there eight hours a day and she's like well that's her decision oh, my dad's not happy with her at all <laughs> like she's not doing anything she'll come by for a little bit but won't help him with anything won't help my grandmother with anything to do with my uncle at the hospital as mm. yeah it's not it's not a good thing right now I just, I don't understand. I mean, maybe it's just, she, I mean, she, she's probably going through stuff too. I mean, the guy that she supposedly loves is dying. But I don't know. I, I feel like I would do something. I, I would definitely help. Like if my husband um, was having problems eating, I definitely would be helping him. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, and then my dad, I mentioned last week, he found out that he has like some AFib thing going on. So later this week, he is going to have a heart monitor thing. I think it's one of those, I didn't ask, I didn't ask all the details, but I think it's one of those ones, like it's just a portable thing they monitor for a little while to see what's going on. And then I don't know if the results get sent to the doctor or they he brings it back and they download the results i don't know exactly my my ex-mother-in-law used to have to do it every once in a while because she had lupus and the and heart problems and they used to have to do that kind of thing with her once in a while um so he's doing that and apparently he's on a wait list to have an echocardiogram obviously not that um, that much of a an emergency if he's on a wait list because I know people don't like parts of our <clears throat> health care especially in regards to long wait lists but if it was an, an absolute emergency you would get in there my, my husband had a brain tumor and he was in and having surgery having to get it removed within a couple weeks so it's not like or less i can't remember it's been so long i can't remember exactly but it was it was not a long wait before he was in the hospital getting it removed so like i said if it was a big emergency 
it would be done. Um, so yeah, so there's an update on, we got an update on Finn. He's doing well. My uncle, he's hanging in there. It's all about uh, pretty much what I can say about that. He's still not being very nice to people around him, <clears throat> which is unfortunate, but everybody reacts to stuff like this differently. I mean, I don't know what I would do if I was basically on my deathbed. I, I would hope that I would be nice, but who knows? You never know until you're in that situation. So I try not to judge too harshly. I mean, it's got to mess with your head. Um, and then an update on my dad. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of health issues going on between my pets and my family. <clears throat> so I think that's about it for the whip and chat this week. Um, I can't think of anything. There was something I was going to talk about. I was thinking about this just before I started my open chat and I'm like, I meant to write it down and I didn't and it still bothered me because I can't remember what it was. I like to say to myself, well, if it was important, I wouldn't have forgot about it, but who knows? I forget things all the time. I would hope that it's not too important. Probably not. It wouldn't have been a bit important, but I can't think of what it was. So thanks for joining me for the whip and chat um if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up um if you're new here hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos and i will see you well you will see me although i recorded it a while ago i will have a actually no it wasn't this week my plan is to have uh unboxing of my ha my first Halloween kit so that one I did record a while ago and then next Saturday slash Sunday for you guys I will have another whip and chat up for you so thanks again bye